So uh, now the, the, another thing is these guys taking some interesting injury spots too. I got in a discussion. I had Rick Aquino on uh, with sports X radio. We were talking about, you know, Adam Copeland uh, doing that spot off the top of the cage and breaking his leg and, and, and Jack, you know, doing the fire spot and everything. These guys taking too many chances, Stu. Are we, you know, because <sighs> even Adam said, man, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, and now you lose one of your top guys for another four or five weeks and the, the AW injury bug keeps rolling too. And once again, I'm not going to tell guys what to do or anything like that. I've only been in a wrestling ring one time in my life, but uh, are they, are they, is, are they pushing the boundaries? There is look, there is, you know, no matter how good you may be, how skilled you are in that ring, there are limits to what the human body can do and can tolerate especially in something like pro wrestling. Um, I heard something about how maybe when Adam Copeland got up on top of the cage, he has had a, he had, he had a, he had a, he had a moment where he was going, man, I shouldn't be doing this. And I think that's what happened. Well, and, and it because sounded like, I think I heard somebody, it may have been Brian Alvarez talk about, he decided to switch it up. And so when he jumps, he's jumping, like he's going to hit an elbow. So then that's when he landed on his feet and that's what, you know, how the, the tibia got fractured there. Look, you know, injuries happen in pro wrestling, no matter how safe it can be. I've seen it a thousand times, but doing some of these more extreme for lack of a better term, you know, spots. Yeah. You're just, you're kind of tempting fate. Um, but at the same time, that gets the eyes that yep. gets the, that gets the attention. So, you know, it's one of those things you got to find that balance in between, you know, you know, in between the, the spectacle and the safety while you're in the ring. Yeah. It's, it's a very tricky line that these guys walk all the time. And yeah, I, I felt bad for Adam because I was where I was sitting. I mean, I could see it. And when he came down, I was like, man, he's, he's coming down weird. And then he, he planted his feet and I was like, oh my God, he's, there's no way something isn't wrong after that was over. So, but we want to wish Adam all the best. And I, and I hope, uh, I hope for a quick recovery from him. Uh, yeah. I, now, 